It's another Silver Hunters episode. My name is Alan. Behind me is Richard and Ed. And we are off to discover some, rediscover some cell holes today. Uh, we are going to stop at an old colonial quarry site first to check that out and see if there's anything left there for us. So wish us luck and let's go do it. Well guys, we're on our way to the cellar holes that I mentioned before. We couldn't find the quarry, unfortunately, another time. And as I say, we're making our way, beating our way through the woods. I have a nice signal on my Equinox. I'll let you hear it, I've got the headphones off. 28, 29, 30. Yep, 28, 29, 30. I've cut the, pl I cut the plug and now we're going in. So I have no clue. It's gonna be a bazinga, it's gonna be something good. We're gonna find out together. Of course, I left my shovel someplace. Ed, would you mind uh, lending me your shovel? Sure. Thanks, mate. <laughs> this is the good luck shovel. Richard, you're on your machine there, mate. You may have broken it. <laughs> All right, no, just kidding, guys. He didn't break it. Pretty shallow. Uh-oh. Weak tent? <laughs> no? No, I'm just kidding. It's it's pretty close to the uh, surface here. Well, that silver stuff doesn't go very deep. You know? That is true. It would be nice if it was a seeded something. Was big. There it is. Oh. Ooh. It's an ox knob. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. It is a nice one. So they used to put these on the horns of the oxen to stop them from stabbing people. That's where they would have nailed it into the horn. Cool, nice relic. That's why it sounded like so good. Yep. Nice big chunk of copper. All right. They do sound good. Targets. I thought it was a croto bell when you flipped it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. on we go. There's a really cool rock pile down there, guys. Although we're piling all the rocks after farming in this at this farm site i've got a target down here it's a 14 on my equinox it's in here someplace i saw it lost it again of course let's see if we can find it Naturally, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Right there. It is a button, of course. We got a shank. Yep, we have a shank. Yeah, that's a nice, decent early type of button right there. Nice. Nothing on the front, I don't think, but cool. We got something else here, guys. I think I stepped in some dog, lucky dog poo this morning. Um, I've got something big and round and green down there. Could be a coin, could be a dandy button, I'm not sure. Ed's come over to check it out. But uh, let's turn you around and get you down on the hole and see what it is. One hole. Let's move down on the green disc. Right there. That's exactly how it was. Ah. It looks pretty convincing. It's looking like a coin. No, it's a button. <laughs> wow. It is a button. It's a big old dandy button. Look at that. Nice. That's that's a good age, Ed. We're not sure about the age of this site, to be honest. We've had all kinds of things out of here. Uh, Civil War button and different things, but that's good. That's 1800, 1790s, 80s. Yeah. Any GWs? <laughs> not yet. Nice find. One day. One. <laughs> here we go, guys. Here's a pewter button. I'm looking for USA on the front and I can't see it, so no luck there. But that's the third button for me on the day. Well guys, we're making our way through the woods here to the next site. Richard and Ed, and Ed found something that I walked clean right over. <laughs> <laughs> I literally walked over it. I stepped over it. I didn't yep. see it. Yeah. But uh, This time of year, I'm surprised you find one this late. The animals like the calcium. Yeah. So It'd be you can see where this one's been eaten. Chewing on it a little bit. Just sort of uh kind of gnawed on. Around here, you can see it's been chewed on. That's pretty neat, huh? Cool. Yeah. It's amazing. Blind me. <laughs> <laughs> 
through the tree line guys is the cellar hole site number two and I just got a little while ago this this is, of course is a part of a lantern that's a decent signal and then another signal lot on after it this little beauty right here a lovely piece of iron work an iron strap handmade of course blacksmith made this a long time ago I love these little straps I don't find them too often strangely enough but that's a real beauty we'll get the electrolysis on this and we'll keep her well guys on the way up here Richard and I had a conversation we discussed about which fine we'd like to have the most today Richard went for the silver coin and I said I'd love a, sh I'd love a shoe buckle today guess what just found one <laughs> been digging through all kinds of iron and crap I think this is the dumping area for the house so I'm going to turn you around and let you have a look where we're at and you're going to like this one I hope it's complete I dig the hole and flip it out and there it is and that's just how she how she lies when I pull this target out of the ground so keep your fingers crossed for me that she's complete it's looking like it's Oh, it's all there. Oh, it's massive. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my <laughs> Holy smokes, guys. Now that is the probably one of the best buckles I've ever found. Oh, Look at it. I didn't think they came out. I didn't think they made them that nice. Look at that. The size of that thing. Did I hit them there a bit? I don't know. Or maybe it's gold inlay. I'm not sure. Oh, it was like silver, huh? it was a 30 on my equinox so it could be this could be like silver it's definitely i think it, it's some kind of silver inlay perhaps wow. that definitely looks like silver there but look at that wow that is incredible what a massive buckle and look at look at this stuff here look all of this brick and stuff Actually, that's, uh, yeah, it's brick. Wow. Still scouting around looking for another one of those buckles in case there was a pair. I did get a buckle, but it's a little horsey buckle. I like silver applied, silver coated on top there. Sort of 1800s kind of deal. Not 17, but what I'm looking for. But if I don't find another thing today, that buckle is made up for the whole day walking here and everything not far from where i dug the shoe buckle what do you got richard well it's something circular um it showed up on my simplex as uh 40. okay so it's circular if you want to bring the camera down here we can see so we might yeah hopefully it's a coin i'm hoping wow but it could be a button either way it's going to be a first for you in this country yep i think it's a it's a button awesome that's a nice uh Oh yeah, that's my first ever button in the United States. Nice. Wow. <laughs> awesome, the first of many, mate. Sweet. Oh yes. Let's get that silver next. All right, I'm going to come down on it so we can get a good look. Make sure there's no GW on it. Nothing on it, mate, is there? No. It's got the shank though, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the shank. Cool. Well, I'm going to check in with that here. What do you got, mate? Anything good? Picked up a little button. Cool. Nothing fancy, but one more saved. Yeah, this site's getting earlier and earlier. See, look at that. That's an earlier button. It's a convex, right? May I see that, mate? Yep. Definitely a little. It's a nice shape. It's a colonial era button. Ooh. Dude. Yeah, we were here. We were here before, guys, and I found a seated, seated dime and a little uh, boot pistol. But we d we weren't finding colonial era stuff that day. But now today has been a bit bit of a different story. It rained real hard last night. The ground's wet. Yeah. You know, sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah. Every year frost moves stuff too. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, interesting little place. This nice and open. Not like that, mostly down where we're, down our way. We're like jungles down there, but uh, anyway, back to it. 
rougher country out that way, eh, guys? All this 100 years, 150 years ago was all fields, I guess. With boulders and stuff in between. You can see where they were piling rocks over here. I got a 20 on my Equinox. Deep in this hole. Pretty close to this tree, so almost lost the target to uh, nature. But there she is. Whatever this is. Mystery object number 500. I'm not sure what kind of material that is, actually. That might be iron. Brass, I'm not sure. Strange. Well, guys, look at this. Today's shoe buckle find. What a friggin' beauty. Stunner. Look at that applied silver front and all that decoration on there. Probably 1770s, I'd say, sort of that type of type of period on the back bronze nicely slicked up with uh, renaissance wax the front I, there's no water has been on this I cleaned it with uh, an old trick from the the old country a little bit of cigarette ash and a little bit of moisture just on the front just to clean up that applied silver and there you go yeah. thanks for watching really appreciate it and uh we'll see you next time cheers guys bye